Hello guys, welcome to the Train Parrot. I wanted to show you today how am I managing to backtest looks algo signals and overlay. I'll show you how to backtest the bullish plus signal. And secondly, I'm going to also add a condition for the signal to be above the smart trail. All of that is going to go into ADB, which is our backtester. Things I'm not gonna cover in this video is how to make it more profitable, how to tweak looks algo signals and overlay. There's plenty of videos showing amazing results on looks algo signals. If by the end of the video you are excited with using looks algo signals, you're going to be able to find a link in the description with an amazing discount to get the free premium indicators that come with looks algo. I know that they've been working for a while in offering some backtesting solutions, but as far as I know, those are still not available. So for now, this is the solution that I know. Let me know in the comments if you know another solution, if you have ever managed to backtest any of these signals. It's worth mentioning that this video is going to be useful, in fact, to backtest almost any other signal because the challenges are usually the same. So the first step when I want to backtest a third party indicator is to open the data window here. Of course, I need to have the indicator in the chart in the selected time frame I want to trade. And then I focus on what's available in the data window. You're going to find that they are offering signals bullish, bullish plus. There's also some trend strength that is exposed here in the data window. And we can also see where the smart trail is located. And as we hover through the price, we're going to see how those values on the right hand side are flipping. And when it comes to backtesting this signal, the bad news is that they are not exposing when the signal triggers true. You might be wondering, yeah, but you're wrong. I can see it in the data window. If you look at the right hand side, you're going to see bullish plus and it shows number one when I'm hovering the signal which is very exciting to see, but it's very disappointing that that is not exposed as a source when you select it from any backtest. In fact, not every single thing that is exposed as a source is shown in the data window. And that is because the developer has decided not to offer those values to be used as a source in other indicators. So in this case, we're going to have to compromise because there is this value here that is called var color value, which is also visible in the right hand side. And is this number here that is showing a number one. And if I hover and you keep looking at the right hand side, you're going to see that the bar color value around here is zero, around here is one, and it becomes one right from the moment the signal triggers and it becomes minus one right at the moment the signal triggers a cell. So that is some progress, at least it's not going to be perfect because sometimes in between the buy signal and the sell signal, sometimes the bar color will flip into zero or even into minus one without triggering the cell. But we can get away with maybe using an exit percentage and still use this as an entry. Because one thing is a fact, every time the signal triggers, the bar becomes as well one. But you can also have some bars that become bullish around here without the signal. It's rare and it depends definitely on how you configure Lusado signals. In this case, I'm using this configuration. I think the solution is 99% good. I'm going to use the plugin conditions to select the precise conditions that I want as a deal start condition. So let's open the preferences of ADV conditions. You can see here that we can do any comparison of any source one and any source two. We can do less than, greater than, equals, crossing down and up. And as a source one, I'm going to pick, as I say, the bar color value, which we are expecting to become one when this thing is in green. So instead of using a source two, because we are going to compare it to one, we're going to select value. So we are comparing the source one equals a value. Source one is looks algo bar colors and the value is number one. You could have also done greater than zero if sometimes the signal becomes one or two. That's all very convenient. And here there's something new. The first signal only is going to filter the first time it triggers every time it triggers. That's going to remove 
all these duplicates if you are doing some scalping and maybe you enter here, you take profit there and you don't want to enter again because this is all the way duplicated through the whole move to the upside. If that's the case, then enable first signal only and you're only going to enter the first time it triggered. We could also add conditions for exiting or we could add conditions related to the smart trail. Let's do that one. I'm going to add another condition so I can add the plugin as many times as I want. This second instance of the plugin, I'm going to use it to say that I want the price to be above the smart trail. And as you can see on the far right, the smart trail has got two values, a smart trail value and a smart trail extremity. And the one that has the lowest value is the smart trail. So I'm going to pick that to say that the price needs to be above the smart trail. So let's pick smart, the source one, the close, and as a source two, the smart trail, because I want to find the times when the close is greater than the smart trail. In this case, I'm not going to put the first signal only because if I do that, it's going to only highlight the first time it was true and there's not going to be confluence of both indicators. If I wanted to say something like take the trade only when you are above the smart trail. So now how can we combine these two that we have here? For that, I'm going to use an additional plugin, which is the logic operator also included in the ADV suite. Let's add it to the chart. And as you can see, you have an AND and an OR. It's pretty simple to figure out which one is which. Let's pick the signal of each one. And as you can see, now this became true. For example, here you have some signals, but since there was no uptrend, they got filtered out and you ended up just with this one. Now that we have the confluence into a single indicator, which is the logic operator, we can use this one as a source for backtesting and also as a source for sending alerts. So let's bring in ADB and in the plugin source, let's connect it directly to the logic operator. We need to select logic operator signal and that's the only plugin we're going to use here because this represents the combination of everything. So as you can see, my backtester now is backtesting the performance of LuxAlgo signals overlay and I'm not using any particular settings of LuxAlgo. I'm not trying to showcase the performance or anything. I could have tried some of these different settings that are working really great for me, but I'm going to leave that for another video. Many people are asking me, how can I put together multiple conditions from different indicators that you don't have access to the source code, so you cannot really do much. And I think that this feels like a very clean solution. It's very easy to combine conditions and then having multiple logic operations to define much more complex statements that you wanted to implement without writing a single line of code. Now, let's say if you wanted to send this as an alert, if you go to alerts, you're going to notice that all the ADV plugins, they come with alerts. Like you could use alerts from conditions or alerts from logic operator. If you select the logic operator and you put once per bar close, that is going to trigger every time you have the full confluence triggering true. And that can be sent to your three comma spots or to anything that can take a webhook or an email. As usual, guys, if this video gets 50 comments and 50 likes, I will leave in the description codes with a 100% discount to try the VIP membership for one month, absolutely for free. And that's going to be not just access to the ADV suite, but to many, many, many more different tools that it will take me days to explain in a single video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.